Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a Mini Cooper video, so today we'll be looking at the all new 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman in the basic non metallic color known as Light White. Just like always, we're going to take a full detailed look at both the interior and the exterior. We'll also start up the engine and let you listen to the exhaust sound. So the Countryman has gotten a lot bigger over the years, but thanks to the clever engineering, it's always been surprisingly big on the inside. In fact, many tall people specifically buy Minis because it's one of the only cars that they're comfortable in. As mentioned by Mini Cooper, the Countryman is bigger on the inside than the outside. It comes with impressive cargo capacity and high performance handling that many sedans can't even match. The Mini Cooper Countryman really lets you have it all. The Countryman interior has a total of 42.2 cubic feet of space, which is even spacier than most other cars, including the Audi A4. The Countryman will automatically adjust the speed of the windshield wipers and stereo volume to match how fast you're going. It comes with a high def screen with silky smooth Pandora and iOS cover flow. Here's a key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, and the trunk release button. You can also press the button on the back here to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start up the engine, and let you listen to the exhaust. It does come with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key somewhere on your body. To unlock, simply press this button on the outer side, and press the same button to lock. Here's a quick view of the interior looks very unique and different compared to other cars back seat to start the engine insert the key fob into this slot right here push in then push your foot down the brake and press the start button Now let's go ahead and pop open the hood and see what's under it. Simply pull this lever out. This will initially open the hood. And there's going to be another lever located in the center. Just lift this lever up and raise the hood. Under the hood, this specific 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman has a dual overhead cam, 1.6 liter 16 valve 4 cylinder engine that pushes at 121 horsepower. It is a 6-speed get rag transmission with sport button for quicker throttle and steering response. It can also be put into manual shift mode to enable the driver to drive like a professional race car. The Countryman can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds, and its top speed is 116 miles per hour. As you move up to the different trim levels of the Countryman, it can reach for 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.6 .6 seconds with the top John Cooper version. As for fuel economy, the Countryman gets 25 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 27 miles per gallon. Up front, the first thing we have here is the intermittent windshield wiper, windshield washer release, Nicely designed front chrome grille with the Mini Cooper logo on top. To help with visibility, there's the automatic attractive headlight with chrome bezels along with the daytime running lights and the integrated fog lights. Overall, the Mini Cooper has a very unique and different front face from other vehicles. Moving over to the side, there's the cornering light. The specific Countryman side fender with integrated turn signal light. Body color side view mirror with power adjustable control and heated power control with manual folding feature. Now 
This specific model comes with 17 inch 5 stores T-spoke silver wheels with run flat tires. Run flat tires allow you to continue going for up to another 100 miles even after tire puncture. Behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and the cornering brake control. All 4 wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, on top we have the rear deck spoiler with the integrated brake light in the center. Mini Cooper logo in the center here. We also have the rear windshield wiper. Rear tail lamps also have bezel surrounding which looks very attractive. Lastly at the bottom we have the black rear diffuser with the single chrome exhaust tip. Here's a complete view of the top. On top we have the panorama sunroof which extends all the way to the back with double roof rails and there's the antenna. Here it is with the sunroof tilt function on. Very attractive. And the top is tinted to eliminate the sun from getting in. And here it is with the sunroof fully open. As you can see it glides back very nicely. Now let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Simply push this in, lift out to open. As you can see for a small vehicle there's plenty of luggage storage space. As you can see we have hooks on both sides. Also have a 12 volt core charger outlet, trunk lighting there, trunk cover here, and if we lift this piece up, we have more storage compartment right below it. The Mini Cooper Countryman does not come with a spare tire since it has to run flat tires, and you'll have to close the trunk manually. The gas tank is located on the driver's side. Just make sure the car is unlocked. Simply lift out to open. The Countryman holds up to 12.4 gallon of gas. And it is recommended by Mini Cooper to use unleaded premium gasoline only. And we're back on the inside. Here we have the three spoke leather wrapped sports steering wheel. Feels very comfortable. Over here we have the voice command, volume control, and Bluetooth phone answering option. Mini Cooper logo in the middle with the horn. And over here we have your cruise control. Windshield wiper control here for both the front and the rear. Headlamps control along with the right and left turn signal. Down here we have a lever which allows us to control the placement of the steering wheel. Pull it down and you'll be able to control the steering wheel placement. Push it up to lock it back into place. Driver air vent and the knob in the middle you can simply twist it to block the air. Driver sun visor on top. With a small piece of mirror with light on both sides. You can also move this piece over to the side, but there's really no need for that because you have a additional piece over here. I'm 
Moving over to the middle, we have the high def screen, which looks very nice. Look kind of like a Mickey Mouse. It is not touch screen, however, it still looks very nice as you can see the map view there. Here's our engine start and stop button and the spot for you to insert the key fob. Moving down, we have the audio control. That's where you insert your CD. Volume control here and you can press down on it to turn the audio on or off. Climate control down here. And further down, we have your traction control door lock and unlock and the sport driving mode control knob it will also display here very nice and both front seats have cooling feature down here we have a storage compartment there and more storage there two cup holder with 12 volt core torture outlet in the middle and here's our gear shift box to control. Push your foot down the brake, press the button there. Move it down to R to put the car into reverse. There is no rear view camera, so nothing pops up on the screen. Neutral, drive, and push over to the left to put it into manual mode. And after that, you can simply push up or down to change gears. The gear will also display here. Right below the gear shift box, we have uh, several control. Use to control everything that's going to be displayed on the navigation screen using this knob. It is multi-directional. You can also twist it and push down to select. This button here is used to control the different display setting. As you can see, each time I press it, it gives me a different display. And simply use the middle knob to maneuver around. Looks very cool and interesting and different here. As you can see around it, it also tells you the speed. Very different from other vehicles. Here's a manual parking brake. Press a button on the lower side to release. Middle on breast here. Not much space inside, just have a phone holder. And you can also lift it up. Glove box compartment. Decent size for a Cooper. And here's a complete view of the dash. There's also the hazard light control on top here. On top we have the rear view mirror with adjustable feature. Different lighting control on top. You can also control the entire lighting control with the second knob here. As you'll notice here. And we also have the middle knob to control the sunroof. There's also the net cover. The net cover will have to be uh, manually unfold. And the last knob we have here is to control the different lighting as you can see the blue light there. Just let me switch it to do, change the colors. Pretty cool feature. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Door lock and unlock button there. And the door handle. There's also light behind the door handle. Speakers on top. Four power window control. Along with the side view mirror control. 
side door storage compartment and I really like this uh, wood trim finish here looks very futuristic mini cooper door seal brake and gas pedal there's your hood release lever and right below it is your trunk release button it's kind of hidden and we have the six uh, way front seat control using this lever and you can use this to slide the seat front and back here's a closer look at the driver's seat none adjustable seat belt and here's a quick view of the back seat it's very similar design to the front door speakers there door handle power window control feels very comfortable there side door storage and again with the C design there now again I am 5 foot 7 so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in a Mini Cooper and I feel very comfortable back here no problem with leg space Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the back. Again, looks very like a uh, Mickey Mouse face there. Two additional cup holder with another 12 volt core charger outlet. Back seat storage. Same on this side. And we have more tools under the seat here which is a weird spot to put the tools and let's see what we can do here you can press that down to adjust the headrest you can also pull this down to fold down the entire back row seat which also give you access to the trunk Here's a closer look at the back seat. Again, you can pull this out to fold down the seat. Hand bar on top. Light control on top also. And as you can see, the panorama sunroof extends all the way to the rear here, which looks very nice. And you can push this net back to get full sky view. Very nice. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video review. Silky Smooth Pandora and iOS Cover Flow. Here's a key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, and the trunk release button. You can also press the button on the back here to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start up the engine, and let you listen to the exhaust. It does come with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key somewhere on your body. To unlock, simply press this button on the outer side. And press the same button to lock. Here's a quick view of the interior. Looks very unique and different compared to other cars. Back seat. To start the engine, insert the key fob into this slot right here, push in, 
then push your foot down the brake and press the start button. Run flat tires allow you to continue going for up to another 100 miles even after tire puncture. Behind the wheels we have the 4 wheel anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and the coroning brake control. All 4 wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, on top we have the rear deck spoiler with the integrated brake light in the center. Mini Cooper logo in the center here. We also have the rear windshield wiper. Rear tail lamps also have bezel surrounding, which looks very attractive. Lastly, at the bottom, we have the black rear diffuser with the single chrome exhaust tip. Here's a complete view at the top. On top we have the panorama sunroof which extends all the way to the back with double roof rails and there's the antenna. Here it is with the sunroof tilt function on. Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a Mini Cooper video, so today we'll be looking at the all new 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman in the basic non-metallic color known as Light White. Just like always, we're going to take a full detailed look at both the interior and the exterior. We'll also start up the engine and let you listen to the exhaust sound. So the Countryman has gotten a lot bigger over the years, but thanks to the clever engineering, it's always been surprisingly big on the inside. In fact, many tall people specifically buy Minis because it's one of the only cars that they're comfortable in. As mentioned by Mini Cooper, the Countryman is bigger on the inside than the outside. It comes with impressive cargo capacity and high performance handling that many sedans can't even match. The Mini Cooper Countryman really lets you have it all. The Countryman interior has a total of 42.2 cubic feet of space, which is even spacier than most other cars, including the Audi A4. The Countryman will automatically adjust the speed of the windshield wipers and stereo volume to match how fast you're going. It comes with a high def screen with 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 27 miles per gallon. Up front, the first thing we have here is the intermittent windshield wiper, windshield washer release, nicely designed front chrome grill with the Mini Cooper logo on top. To help with visibility, there's the automatic attractive headlight with chrome bezels along with the daytime running lights and the integrated fog lights. Overall, the Mini Cooper has a very unique and different front face from other vehicles. Moving over to the side, there's the cornering light. The specific Countryman side fender with integrated turn signal light. Body color side view mirror with power adjustable control and heated power control with manual folding feature. This specific model comes with 17 inch 5 stores T spoke silver wheels with run flat tires. Now let's go ahead and pop open the hood and see what's under it. Simply pull this lever out. This will initially open the hood. And there's going to be another lever located in the center. Just lift this lever up and raise the hood. 
Under the hood, this specific 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman has a dual overhead cam, 1.6 liter 16 valve 4 cylinder engine that pushes at 121 horsepower. It is a 6 speed get rag transmission with sport button for quicker throttle and steering response. It can also be put into manual shift mode to enable the driver to drive like a professional race car. The Countryman can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds and its top speed is 116 miles per hour. As you move up to the different trim levels of the Countryman, it can reach for 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.6 .6 seconds with the top John Cooper version. As for fuel economy, the Countryman gets 25 miles per gallon in the city